Hello and welcome back. So glad you're here for the second upload. And we have the first picture, the first images on set of Johnny Depp as Louis XV in La Favorite, filming right now in Versailles today. So there he is. Look at him all dressed up and he is in character. I love the authenticity to the time period in what he is wearing. Um, as we all know, Netflix has acquired the rights to stream Johnny Depp's next film in France, a deal that will help fund the actor's first feature role following the verdict that was victorious for Johnny Depp um, in the trial against his ex-wife Amber. And the entertainment giant has licensed the rights to stream the film in the country 15 months after its release in theaters. Depp will portray King Louis XV in the period piece La Favorite, directed by Maiwen Lebesco. The film is expected to be released in 2023 in French theaters. The acquisition of the film's rights will be used by the producers to help finance the production and Netflix won't otherwise be involved in the making of the picture. And Depp was last featured in a film in 2020. I think some of you know about Minamata and this will be his first time acting in French. So I'm excited to see this new project and Depp's French language debut. Uh, and you know, it's quite interesting because Johnny Depp lived in France for many years and does speak French and understand it as well, being married to Vanessa Paradis as well. And what an exciting role for him to take on. I've been, you know, reading up on Louis XV. So this is a quick summary. King Louis XV was the king of France who contributed to the decline of royal authority. During his reign, France fought a number of expensive and disastrous wars. Louis also led a scandalous personal life. For these reasons, many French people hated him and his reign did much to bring on the French Revolution. Louis could see a disaster coming but only made feeble attempts to prevent it. He is often remembered for his remark, quote, after me, the deluge. Louis was born in Versailles, France in 1710. He succeeded his great-grandfather at the age of five. His reign began peaceably. He was also known as Le Bien-Aimé. He was a son of the Duke of Burgundy and Marie Adelaide of Savoy, and as I said before, the great-grandson of Louis XIV. As a youngster, his education was overseen by his governor, the Maréchal de Villeroy, and his preceptor, Cardinal de Fleury, nurtured his interest in the natural sciences, botany, medicine, astronomy, geography, and history. So it's interesting when you look at um, the official websites that do describe the history of France, um, <laughs> they did put his life in two categories. One, titled A Keen Interest in Science, and a second, Mistresses. So that tells you quite a lot, doesn't it? It says that he collected clocks and precision instruments, and the king's geographers worked with astronomers to map the country in detail. The monarch also backed maritime exploration and encouraged scientific expeditions to bring back plant specimens from distant climes. In the king's garden in Paris and in the Trianon Botanical gardens, the king used the system of plant classification developed by the Swedish botanist Lien. Louis XIV also took an interest in the first experiments with electricity. So it's quite interesting if I will add this in here that um, he did back maritime exploration. I think Johnny Depp can get away from um, films that are based around <laughs> oceans and seas <laughs> as a by the way. Um, and of course, it goes on to talk about his mistresses. So in another biography, they point out that he was influenced too much by his mistresses. So, um, you know, yeah. So it's quite interesting that Louis, 
who is also known as Le Bien Aimé or the Well Beloved. Um, he ruled for almost 59 years from 715 to 744 and, he, and that was the second longest reign in the history of France, exceeded only by his predecessor Louis XIV who ruled for 72 years. And historians generally criticize his reign, citing how reports of his corruption embarrassed the monarchy while his wars drained the treasury and produced little gain. His grandson and successor Louis XVI would inherit a kingdom in need of financial and political reform which would ultimately lead to the French Revolution of 1789. So what a rich character for Johnny Depp to play. That's a quick summary for you. I could go on and on and I don't want to simplify it. So I hope that the movie expounds much more on it. And of course, for those of you who want to know more, there are quite a bit of internet resources, um, official websites where you can go and learn more about this in preparation for the movie so I'm so excited to see Johnny Depp in this so as you can see there Johnny Depp um, in full get up with his costume being time appropriate and absolutely authentic you can see the hairstyle see that signature hairstyle the white locks and when you compare it with the Louis portraits that we see um, they've done a pretty good job of that um, and of course I like the the regality of it all and you can see the sash, the blue sash I feel across his chest. Um, very, very accurate and I just love it. <laughs> I'm also liking the face makeup as well. You can tell Johnny Depp just disappearing into this role. All the facial makeup as well is so on point. I cannot wait to see what Johnny Depp does with this film. As I said before, it's his French um, language acting debut and I think he's gonna do great. We've seen him on set. We saw a lady with him um, during his European tour and we got to understand that she is like a dialect coach. So I'm really very excited about this. So now share your thoughts with me in the comment section because I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you to all who watched, to my Patreon, PayPal and membership supporters on this channel. I want to say thank you and I want to give a special shout out to two supporters of this channel. Thank you to you, Joyce, Aminata Ja. Verbena New Year and Diana Animashan. Thank you for supporting my channel. I appreciate your love and support so much. It means a lot. And thank you to those who like, comment, and share. Once again, leave your thoughts on this first image on set of Johnny Depp in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.